Ah, malheureusement. Being the user, selling to a warm market versus a cold market, um, about these kind of topics. So you can sell to a market that you know nothing about and you can learn. And I know you've done that in your career where you're not the user. You're coming in it from an outside perspective. You don't have a partner or co-founder who's from the industry. And you've also been in the spot where either yourself or someone you're very close with on a startup team has deep domain knowledge, likely as the person that is intended or was intended to actually use the product. Do you have a real bias in terms of which, you know, should entrepreneurs be trying to steer one way or the other way? Um, what are the advantages of being the user and how do you think about that? Um, so there's pros and cons of both of both of, let's say our, our, our founding team has domain expertise and our founding team has no do domain expertise in terms of knowing, knowing the business of their target user. Um, and, and I'm, I'm sure if we were doing kind of venture capital history, we could show great examples of both where it's like, oh, yeah, they knew nothing. And now, now they're the, they dominate that industry or right. because you know, they lived it and breathed it before, before starting their company. Uh, they knew what they're doing and they, and they dominated the, the advantage of knowing nothing, you know, so kind of uh, the John Snow, you know, nothing, uh, mean is you don't come at it with biases. So you, you really trying to learn and understand the problem because you, you've not lived it. You don't, you don't have any scar tissue. You don't have any past history of, Oh, I had to solve that problem with a spreadsheet and I do it this way. And, you know, you, you, you come at it with this kind of very blank learners mentality, which from that perspective, there's a, there's a much higher probability, I think, of you finding a really unique solution. So you can find something really differentiated, something really novel because you don't have a, you're looking for the clue. You don't have a clue. You're not trying to, you're not, you're not this, traps and biases of, of, of your past history. And, and so there's lots, I think there's a lot more risk there, but like when there's a lot more risk, there's a lot more upside. So there's a bigger chance that you can find kind of a totally novel product that blows the cut. You know, you can create that kind of monopoly in that niche of I've built the only product that does that because I came at the, the industry problem or the user problem with kind of a blank slate. Um, and then the opposite advantage of that on, uh, you know, I've been, I, I've, I've done the job of my user. I've built companies in the space already or operated companies in the space already is you have a playbook. So you have all these biases. That can, if you really, right. I don't know. I don't have to do like that type of user discovery. I need to figure out how to, how do I map, how do I take that problem that I understand really, really well and map it to the technology. And then verify that I've got the right tool in front of in front of what used to be me as a user, um, without you know kind of the bias that kind of goes in that of like it's my baby. <laughs> so there's there's a, you can accelerate a lot faster with domain knowledge because you'll have relationships, you'll have kind of a kind of an innate and deep understanding of, of how the how the how the job works or the industry works. Um, and so you de-risk the company a lot. So like there's there's a risk reward trade off. To those two different scenarios and it really depends on 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 who you are obviously like i think you know as you get you know, part of the reason i have more experience in this because i'm older than you mark and it's like <laughs> the as you get older the more experience and more wise yeah you know, the you know you can you can lean on those playbooks um and lean on the on the rolodex and lean on the, i've been there and done that uh, type stuff. Whereas, like, if I'm a 24 year old founder, yeah, yeah, you don't know what you don't know. Just go do it. <laughs> and, and so, going at something where it's like taking a, a blank page approach to, I have no idea how biotechnology works. Dive in. You know? Right. And yeah. And that, yeah. That's a. You know, you want to go solve COVID. Solvent without a boat, but without any kind of uh, bias, it's probably not a bad, 
way to go at it. But you know, also having run a lab before it wouldn't be a bad start either. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You, it's almost like you want to know enough to think you'll be successful, but you want to not know enough that you don't know how you could fail. So there's a certain amount of ignorance is bliss, I suppose. 